part of Waco lies the Greenwood Cemetery, the second oldest in the city. It dates back to 1875 and is steeped in history, but keeping an accurate record about who actually is buried there has never been done until now. Yeah, this is pretty cool for you history buffs. Texas Today anchor Tahitia Moyes introduces us to the group of volunteers trying to give generations of families a connection to the past. This is Pete R. Frazier. He was a private in the U.S. Army, World War II. He was born in 1910 and died in 1978. A few mornings every week, you'll find John and Debbie Spies here at the Greenwood Cemetery in Waco. I wish we could take better care of our military markers. The pair is part of the McLennan County Cemetery Interest Group, a volunteer group of about 10 people from the Genealogy Center at the West Waco Library. Hard parts finding how to get in this place. <laughs> the group started their work in early 2020, their efforts slow due to the pandemic. The goal is to have a written record of who is buried in the cemetery and where. Cemeteries are, are special places. Bill Buckner from the Genealogy Center is spearheading the effort. He says once complete, the information will be available at your fingertips through an app, thanks to collaboration with the city of Waco. Knowing where your ancestors are is important because it, it gives you a sense of your identity of your past. The cemetery is divided up into 21 sections called tiles. Volunteers are assigned to tile to catalog. In this map, you can see plot points called grave markers. And there's usually about 50 to 75 headstones per tile or to the area that we are taking care of. John takes pictures of the markers while Debbie writes down the information to enter into a preliminary database. Usually in two hours, we can, we can get 20, 20 memorials. It kind of depends on uh, the condition they're in. This is a place of, uh, of reverence. It's hallowed ground. There are at least 2,250 markers, but it could be higher due to information being lost over time. Each marker leads a different story. While we may not know everyone buried here, we do know of some notable, including Broadway singer Jules Bledsoe, Professor Dr. Vivian Lucille Malone Mays, and Negro League baseball star Andrew Lewis Cooper. The cemetery is also home to graves for both Union and Confederate soldiers who fought in the Civil War. We found a lot of doctors out here from the 1800s. We have ministers, politicians. For years, this was a segregated cemetery separated by a chain link fence until 2016. Now it's one cemetery, so it's a sign of unity. As of last November, the volunteer group completed just over 50% of the grave markers. It's a slow, tedious process those involved say is so worth it. I love my job doing this. <laughs> In Waco, Tahitia Moyes, 6